Hey guys, welcome back to Avoria, the spaceship building, galaxy exploring, resource trading game of excitement and wonder. I suppose there's some pew pews as well Why we're at it. My name is Twitchy and last time we came all the way up to what I am assuming is the, uh, the space time rift barrier thing that the Zotan created to save themselves during the last wars. Maybe it's the actual barrier, maybe we've got to go a little bit deeper still. This is a dead end but maybe there's more to be found. But first, I want to reprimand each and every one of you for not calling me out for my poor coordinate use uh, a couple of episodes back. I can't remember exactly which episode it was. Obviously, I made a, uh, an intentional mistake to catch you all out. I totally wasn't just mistaken. I was looking up to the right for the Operation Exodus coordinates, and I was like, look, we've only got two matching numbers here. Uh, we've got minus one, uh, 318 and uh, 202. And then I proceeded to open the map and come up here and go look the minus numbers and positive numbers are up here but little little did any of you realize let alone myself <laughs> that this is the wrong way around that's not that's not how x and y work you know what y is the second coordinate x is the first one <laughs> So yes, we actually have a little bit of a backtrack to do uh, whilst hopefully trying to taunt out some pirates. Maybe I'll just fly down with the grandest entrance because all the way down, is it this one? Is it this one? It was here somewhere. All the way back here. Oh, it's, it's quite a way back. It's quite a way back. This is where the coordinate actually lies. So I'm going to spend send my littlest adventure out, my grandest entrance. I really need to upgrade his hyperspace, uh, hyper jump core at some point. This might mean taking some guns off him. And I'm not sure if I'm overly about that. I suppose we could make him bigger, but the grandest entrance is all about tiny package, big pow, you know? So I'm loving the addition of the redo button. One thing I would like, though, is a skip to next order button. I've got Sir Carry Hat sat on top of a casino right now, and uh, one of the NPC merchants must have got there before him, because if we come down and have a look, uh, every now and then, no merchant has room for luxury food. I'd be like, great, great, cool, whatever. I mean, we are selling, oh no, where was it? A little bit every now and then, like 28. Uh, it's not making me the money, but I have got an extensive number of orders on him. So I, do, I don't, I don't want to cancel it. I just want to skip him on to the next one. The boxerware, please. If you're listening, probably not. I, I, I just want to skip to the next order button. Oh, Pirates attacking sector. Here we go. First chance for some big upgrades. This is what I'm after. Remember, we are here on the on the side of the barrier to try and get ourselves some real serious things where you need a legendary upgrades to trade in at the science station to be able to get like a, a mysterious Zotan artifact that somehow will enable us to get past the barrier. I'm not overly sure. The game hasn't been massively explicit, but I do know we're roughly doing that plan. So uh, that's where we're going. I'm still not getting the best pickups. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's something to do with my own luck. Maybe fitting some salvaging lasers might be a winner. I don't know. Oh, that's not good. The grandest entrance doesn't want to leave via the gate. That's the only way in and out of here. Do you reckon I can nudge him through? I bet I can. Okay, this is mildly scary. I think we'll be all right, though. Oh, don't blow up. Go, little buddy, go. There he goes. Okay. Uh, right, away he goes. Away he goes. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit sad that the coordinates turned out to be so close. I was going to make a big old proclamation at the beginning. I was like, I am going to circumvent this center of the galaxy and go find it. And then, no, I was just an idiot who can't read coordinates. So we have a snoop inside a equipment dock at the middle of the galaxy, or at least right up against the barrier. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, it all looks pretty good. Are they even going to sell this stuff to me? It's like, no, you're not, you're not good enough friends for this. But to be fair, they, they haven't got anything I want anyway. I take it back. Maybe they've got something that I want to buy. Let's grab that one. Boom. Radar upgrade. Uh, hopefully that's the one that shows us the... Oh, have I just bought that on an impulse? Not, not, not actually needed it. Okay, so that is the detection, uh, the, the object detector. This one is the one that shows us, yeah, uh, ma uh, hidden mass sectors with yellow blips. Let's, uh, let's have a look quick. Ooh, look at those three over there. All right, I, I figured out how we're going to kill time whilst the grandest entrance is making his way down. He's not got stuck at this one, has he? I think he's got stuck at this one. Maybe, maybe I'll be traveling myself. Whoop, whoop, what we got? Hidden mass has nothing in it. Not even a bunch of 
That's weird. Why, why, why would that do that? Not, not even a bunch of uh, asteroids. Ah, okay. We found a station wreckage in one of the next ones. This looks like something I should be sending a salvage craft after. Hmm, I wonder if it's got any good stuff in it. Oh, hey. They were actually stalking me anyway, uh, so I'm not sure whether whether I need to worry about them or not. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? I mean, I'm fairly sure if I just ignore them, then then all is good, right? I mean, yeah, just just ignoring them seems to be good. I wonder why they're specifically following me, right? You know, you get a, a, a bunch of signals, strange subspace signals coming in, and you're like, right, I'm getting out of here, and you jump as far away as you can, and still they appear on top of you. Ooh. It's a shipyard. It is a shipyard, isn't it? Okay, at zero kilometers, I'm not allowed to interact with it. It is just, just for salvage. Okay, it's a lot of salvage as well. Shame you can't take it over. Real shame you can't take it over. All right, let's go see what those two slackers are doing in that sector. Just kind of hanging around, not doing much, I think. Uh, jump route is calculated. Three, two, one. Boom. I mean, you get a nice idea of the size difference between the two here, but the, come on, guys, this is a, this is a bit awkward. Are you literally having a face off, and that's what stopped you going anywhere? Not even sure how to push gently here. We're just just gonna have to give it a go, right? Maybe maybe we can get the lady in the in the spikes up front, and we just kind of push on through. Oh, it didn't like that. It didn't like that at all, did it? 18 damage. I mean, that's that's fine. That's fine. Is it good enough to let the grandest entrance through yet? That's the question. The answer to that is a resounding no. Well, we know how to deal with the grandest entrance, but why isn't the lady moving? Also, this is rough on the fleet to be pushing them around like this. That did hull damage and everything. Now, why is the lady not moving? Oh, man, these guys. All right, you escort me. You escort me. We're going through the gate, guys. Okay, grandest entrance made it. Good work, buddy. Where, where's... Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Turns out that this asteroid field is quite the taxing conundrum for the diplomat's... Uh, Captain, uh, I, I jumped out because I want to go check and see what the lady's up to. I was like, all right, you guys make your way down towards Operation Exodus or wherever you can get to. And uh, then proceeded to watch them gingerly pick their way through. I think they're going for that gate over there. I, I'm almost certain they're going for that gate over there. But man, no wonder sometimes it can take an absolute age. I don't know whether they simulate all this when they're just passing through on their own. But if they do, whew. Question, with my tiny little drone, can I mine any material or is it like only iron or titanium? Let's find out. I'm getting nice and close. I feel like I should be doing that. Okay, I'm doing damage. Am I getting any of the pickups though? I don't think I'm getting any of the pickups. No, it looks like I am just destructing this. Okay, that's good to know. Jumped into the uh, the lady to start moving her around and immediately assaulted with a red triangle. Okay, okay, let's see if we can do something about that, shall we? Alright, quick upgrade to the firepower of the lady here. A little bit worried about the pirates now, but we definitely, definitely need to go and pick up some crew. Uh, these guys seem to be doing pretty good. Let's just, uh, let's just head on over and see if we can't actually get ourselves some nice salvage out of this. Look, there's a blue, blue thing over there. Okay, we got a nice, uh, nice few yellow ones down here, but we're still not stacking any doubles. We're not going to be trading any of them in at any point, but the maximum we've got is like three of the blues. We've got a five of the common. Ah, oh, that's, that's, that's a real shame. That is a real shame. Anyway, I am here to buy some crew. Gunners? Yeah, we got gunners. How many do I need? It says 24, but we know that these are one and a half a piece. So that's, uh, well, I don't know. Let's try 18 and see if that does it. Ah, uh, slightly over overcooked, but that's fine. They also want a sergeant. No, I've got a sergeant. Okay, that's better. That's fine. So now, hopefully, the lady is a lean, mean fighting machine who just, for some reason, can't go through gates. I, I just don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. This casino will take 4,000 luxury goods. Mm hmm. 
That is over double anything I had found before. I think 1.8 was the largest I had found before. This is this is amazing. Also kind of useless because it's so, so far away from my food production down here. Okay, it took a little while for these two to get down here, but we are ready for that last jump. Also, look next to us. There's a... There's a nice little hidden mass signal signature over there. I bet it's nothing more than like, I don't know, just some, some asteroids or something like that. Could be a pirate outpost. That would be kind of funny at this point in the game. Has this changed at the top? Look, look, just, just as we jumped, this changed. After deciphering the beacons, you found another beacon leading you to a new location. I mean, we've not had a look at this one yet, but th thanks for spoilers there. Wow. Yeah, beacon. All right, let's, let's fly on over nice planet as well so so wait 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 wait. let me get this right this planet has a city a planet-wide city not a city-wide planet uh but no space infrastructure by the looks of it or does that just happen to be the way the coastlines were formed because you know pe people like to live on the coastlines right hello oh man new coordinates yay let's remove the note now oh no craft is attack what 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 where, where it's not the lady Ah, uh, it's the slag sifter, but I, I, I really disagree. She, it, it doesn't say there's any bads there. Let's jump over and have a look. Has she jumped? Is she not? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay, we, we moved her away. Ah, uh, look, four ships of the pirates are there. Okay, well, she jumped. Cool. We'll have to go back and sort that out at some point. Oh man, this, this is almost back home. How, how are you under attack? No, 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 no. Oh, what? We moved you to a safe zone. Oh, look, they they followed me over somehow. Ah, I feel like I was let down by the local faction. We but we have good relations. The grandest entrance is on the way, but what I'm actually going to do is ask him to meet me directly there because I have been waiting for some time now. So I'm just going to uh, enter coordinates in the navigation computer and shall we go and see what the next step of Operation Exodus actually is? I would like to find out most uh, definitely. Go! Is it going to be a peaceful beacon? Is it going to be combat? Let's find out. It's another beacon. All right, cool. Uh, you'll be found another beacon leading to your new location. I mean, the, this, the, yes, obviously, but how many times? How many times will we have to do this? Uh, 307, 357. Oh, uh, look, look, it's all the way out here. Oh, man. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm just going to dump out of the diplomat because he's got a big old jump on him. And it's kind of hit, uh, tedious, hit coming in, selecting a, a sector, entering the coordinates, facing the right direction, doing all that. It's a bit much. Oh, oh, look, something else that I didn't notice. Oh, we should probably go and uh, grab that, right? Not, not that I know whether it's something to actually grab. I, I'll tell you when I get there. Okay, how close do I have to get before it's like, hey, you, you, you can interact with this? Is it just another... Another salvage wreckage. It looks like it might be. No black box, no message for families, nothing like that. Okay. Oh, look, there's a rift in space time here. Okay, with the grandest entrance here, I'm going to... Oh, it's got, got a whole bunch, bunch of problems here. Uh, is there anything to interact with? Can, can you please stop showing me that? Okay, is there anything to interact with with a, a ship that can actually carry anything? No. All right, I'm just going to let his salvaging turrets go to work on this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing this firing. This is independent firing. Oh, also, look, I, I'm still damaged from when, when I pushed. Can I put any better salvaging turrets on? Let's see what we got here. Titanium and iron. Oh, we must be able to, right? Okay, so we got a double R near night. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got nothing to stick it onto. Can I just upgrade it like that? You cannot edit a damaged ship. Oh, really? Why you do me like that? Okay, now can I upgrade that? Okay, it upgraded well. All right, that's that's fine. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't. What is this under here? We've got some titanium hull uh, and maybe, maybe this is titanium. Oh, that's crew quarters as well. Let's upgrade the hull. Why do I just have hull there? There's, there's no reason. Should we, should we do cargo bay instead? I think we should do cargo bay instead. The hole seems like a bit of a nothing block, if you ask me. Ooh, yeah. Let's, let's go. Oh, oh, he's too big. He's too big. Let's, let, let's do a quick redesign. Oh no, no, no. He'll, he'll just about fit in there. <laughs> no, let's do a redesign. <laughs> Say redesign. I, ju I just kind of move things about a bit. All right, cool. Look at that salvaging turret. Mm -mm. Ah, it's not independent targeting, unfortunately. Wait, what? Ship cannot find any more wreckages of Trintium or lower. What is this made out of then? I I disagree. I di well, I suppose we weren't getting anything. Hmm. Yeah, we're really not able to to properly salvage this, are we? All right. Well, enough of those conundrums. Let's go over and see what the diplomat's up to. 
Survey says it's another beacon. All right, cool. Let's. I mean, do we? How close do we need to get to actually interact? Hey, welcome again. Three, three, four, three, nine, nine. It's down here. We're gonna have to go and grab this wormhole. Well, I suppose suppose we don't. We can just go out and round, right? Do some mapping while we're at it. Okay, I'm sending the grandest entrance down through the wormhole, and then with his puny jump coming up here, uh, more for some distant mapping than anything. Oh, we we got a space time bubble here. Oh, that's kind of painful. We can't do much more than that. We also are coming up an edge of a space-time rift. I'm going to try jumping to these unknown sectors and see if we can't find a gate in there. there. There must be a way. How's the grandest entrance doing? He's up and across. More importantly, how's the carrier doing? He's still sat there. I mean, 700 now rather than the 900 we were at earlier, but still. Oh, my face. Oh, found a winner. Is, is it this gate? Let's have a look. No, it's south. It's not that gate. Northwest or northwest west? Oh, I want to go west, so we'll go for the more wests. Also, the bunch of asteroids and stuff to be collected around out here. Is it that one over there? Looks like it should be that one. But you know what? I'm not interested. I've got too many to deal with as it is. East. I want. I want it to go east. <laughs> north. Northeast. That. That. Northeast. All right. It's a busy time on this side of the. Ah, oh, there's another rift right here. This looks like it might lead me down and under, though. Let's uh, let's jump to this sector. That way, if there's any connections, we can find them. Also, what's going on here? Gas collecting and a bit of solar power. All right, fair enough. Not my market, but I suppose every niche has a value. I mean, if you're not stuffing your face with Fargoa, what are you doing? Okay, this is a wreckage. I bet we've got a scrapyard somewhere. All right, I am not interested. I'm, I've been told many times that I should actually get myself a salvaging license and... Uh, Give, give the bit of the salvage in a go. Make, we'll make a salvage ship at some point. To be fair, we need a salvage ship that runs around after our crew uh, and just picks up all the mess we make, right? Oh wow, this this rift be long in, in all directions. Have they actually just kind of circled an area off here? I think they might have. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna do this run, even though all the way along it well, there's been like rift. I can't I can't go in that way. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna send him back. <laughs> Oh man, none of these sectors so far have a gate crossing this rift. All I can do is just keep on checking nudes. I, I keep finding myself with 10 seconds to wait as well. I, I go up, I move the lady around, I then move, uh, Sir, uh, not Sir Hall's, the, the, the grandest entrance and try and make sure he's headed on the right track. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a merry little time with fleet, fleet command. So many scrapyards. I have run into so many scrapyards. Also look, our, our mission is just there. Just there. Oh, I think this is the one, guys. Look, there it goes. It jumps across, and then we're on the right side of the barrier. Yeah, let's give it a go. We've got nine seconds until we can do a jump. That's fine, because we've got to go through this gate anyway. Uh, Ippiop. I, th I think the, the, the faction's called the Ippiops. Uh, they, they, they are a fairly nice group of AI. I, I, I still don't know who we are in this game. I mean, does it really matter? Does it really even matter? I don't think so. I don't think so. Look, up in one jump. I've got a feeling we can take anything that the game is going to throw at us in this sort of area in the Diplomat. So I'm quite happy just to jump around on my own. Oh, mission update, Operation Exodus. Look, there's another one, but is, is it really? Oh, it's another beacon, really? Oh, I'm going screaming past it. Let's just get these coordinates. 370... 431. 370, 431. Oh, grand stop. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay, well, well, we know where we're taking him. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now we've got to, I'm gonna bail out of here, bail out of the diplomat, and we're gonna send him back from whence he came. Short number of jumps this time, because we know where we're going. I might even call by, by some of these unknowns. Okay, the diplomat's going all the way up back, back to home base before coming back down through the wormhole. Ooh, he was close by. Uh, let's see if he does that before the grandest entrance makes it to where he's going. Both headed to the same spot. Uh, who's going to get there first? The grandest entrance obliterating the competition there. Where did, where did he even get to? He is just up here. Uh, so it's because, well, it's not because I called through here, but this is definitely going to have slowed him down. What's this? Why are you still highlighting? like that. Did I miss something there? I don't know. Oh, it's, it's because it, it, it's where I am, guys. In my drone. Look, now those. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit of an idiot. Okay, let's have a look around for this next beacon. There it is. There it is over there. Look, and there's another wreckage. 
Well, I'm going to try it. I'm going to dive out of here. I'm going to go, hey, grandest entrance, can you salvage? Can you? That That's a very important question. I think he can. I think he can. Awesome. Okay, so his, his new improved uh, Trintium stuff, uh, Trintium salvage cannon, should be doing a wonder down there. Oh, yeah, look at it go. 407... Four two five. This is just leading me further and further out to the edge, right? Four oh seven. Four two five. Okay, up here. I I have no idea how we're gonna cross this barrier. This is looking scarily like there's no way through. And there's a bunch of hidden mass around me, but what's the chances that a hidden mass will even have a gate? There's a bunch of wreckage, but I don't see a scrapyard on display anywhere. I was just gonna shut up and explore for a bit, but look at this. We got like a big old ro iron rock in the middle, then we've got a bunch of hunters around the outside, and then concentric circles of asteroids. This is crazy. I mean, I, I've, I've kind of got to fly up and have a look, haven't I? It's, it's, it's really calling for it. I mean, are these guys gonna just immediately jump in and have me? What, what's what's the what's the, the 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 range on these guys here? Also, do these? Well, these rocks aren't quite perfectly circular. Are they? Is it all focused on here, though? I think it might be. Hey, Mr. Hunters, I'm not doing any damage. Are you guys doing any damage? Are we? Are we all happy with each other? How close can I be to? I mean, normally we get an interact signal anyway, right? But but it's not there. It's not there at the moment. Hello, two kilometers, one. Very strange. The thing is, I don't need this lump of iron. It's not... Ooh, let's not try and hit him. Uh, it's, it's not something that would add anything to my empire. I might just leave these guys i mean like can i can i claim this no no claiming no claiming uh little 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 bumps little bumps uh are they coming after me now i've damaged it a little bit nope it's just weird so anyway now i'm just gonna sharpen and explore for a bit it's taken a goodly long while, but I have finally found out the path. It's not down here from the greatest entrance. The diplomat who has been on a journey, let me tell you. He started uh, coming up along this way, and when I found out the gate network was starting to turn off, I started jumping over here. But you can see all these rifts everywhere. I had to use this get gate network. I came all the way up, down this way, through here, started just jumping randomly because I found a dead end and then another one, and uh, all the dead ends were starting to get to me. But if we have a look at the Diplomat now, uh, zoom in enough, he's just one jump away. I'm wondering whether the uh, Grandest Entrance is also one jump. There's a big old cross of space-time rift right here. Uh, and I'm wondering whether he's also going to get it. So that means that there is one running all the way up this way. Oh, it's big barrier. Big, big, big barrier. I'm going to ask the Diplomat to uh, jump on down here. Oh, man, no. No is the answer. Look, look at this. There's no way the grandest entrance is going to be able to make it up and past this. Uh, I keep jumping into each of them in turn, seeing if there's any sectors where any gates or anything around. I've been doing the same with the lady mostly. Uh, if you remember that we are trying to get closer to the center here, but we found a situation where we've got a big old rift that we can't get, make our way past. So I've been coming back along all the different gate networks and trying to find somewhere where we get to cross. Unfortunately, I've got all the way down here. As you can see, that's quite a long way without any uh, sign of another gate network. Hopefully we can get, get another one coming across here and maybe bounce our way back up. That's my hope anyway, but let's go see what the diplomat is up to. I am half expecting at the moment for this just to be another beacon that we're going to go find. I, I think we, we're we going to have to take that risk, though. Let's go. My, my, that took a long time loading. Let's have a look. Ooh, hey. Oh, it's it's another wreckage. Yay. Hopefully this one's going to have a whole bunch of stuff. Look, look at all the wreckage. I've only just started taking in what's around me. There's another oh, another another system. Let's have a look on the F9. Is it all just... Ooh, we've got some ancient gates. Oh, they're interesting. Uh, okay, okay. Let's let's go and have a look. First off, I want... Oh, look here. Ancient gate. Is there, is there a way? Is there a way? I mean, there's bright, bright and sparklies over there. Bright and sparkly. Yeah, let's go and have a look at that first. Well, well it really does look like it's all just a whole host of salvage for me to uh, get my teeth into at some point. Oh, there's an interact. There is an interact. Hello, search for information. Captain's log, patrol 362815. No special incidents. No xenon, uh, no sightings of Zotan pirates or enemy factions. Who are the enemy? The first mate has suggested a uh, to diverge from our usual route. He claims he has heard of troubles. We will change our course accordingly. Oh no. 
It's big. It's big dots. It was a trap! The first mate was working for the pirates. When we jumped into the sector, we were suddenly faced with a whole fleet of pirates. We were trying to find our way out of this, but it does not. Uh, but it does look grim. Tell that. Well, well, well. Okay, well that that's a thing. I wasn't really expecting there to be storyline. What what have you got over here? Look, there's loads of them. And the three? Do we do we have any more? Any advances on three? These look like ships over here. Okay. You know, you know when you lose the thing. There we go. Lose the thing you were just looking at. Yeah, you know, just spinning around the sphere, being like, "Where was it? What? What did I do with it?" Does this one have information? Not today. Not by the look. Let's try and just slowly glide our way in. Okay, exactly zero. No, no more information here. There's another one down there, but while spinning around trying to find it, I found that beacon. I've. Got, I would be amiss if I did not check this one out first. Okay, zero and none. Okay, let's let's go check this beacon out. Communication beacon. Wait, 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 wait. I had it. There we go. Select it. Communication beacon. F to interact. Establish connection. Static noises. Silence. <laughs> More silence. Is, is is this is this thing working? What? Hello? Who is this? Are you from Operation Exodus? Of course. Who who are they? Yes, yes. Well, and no. I don't understand. We never took part in Operation Exodus ourselves. It was our ancestors ooh, who did it. Wow, your ancestors. Yes, the Exodus took place more than a hundred years ago. Who are you? We're descendants of the... Oh, Hattai. Our ancestors used to live near the center of the galaxy. I happen to know they don't live center, they're close to the center of the galaxy anymore. These are the guys we started with. Uh, what happened? A few hundred years back, an alien species appeared in the center of the galaxy. The Zoltan. We knew aliens since the great rise of technology 600 years back. Everyone knew how to build and use spaceships. This is how we colonized space in the first place. But the Zotan were different. Cold. Careless. They didn't care for anybody. They didn't even answer our attempts to communicate. They just appeared and it seemed like they didn't care about anything at all. They started harvesting. They ate away at everything. Asteroids, ships. Some say they even consumed entire planets. After the great battle, we realized that we didn't stand a chance. They were not unbeatable. We did manage to win several battles. But they just kept on pouring out of the center. More and more and more of them. In the end, it didn't even matter. They would just overrun us as they had uh, as they had way more resources. The only thing that was left for us to do was to flee. So we started Operation Exodus. And now we live here. Oh man, that's a lot of questions. Okay, let's 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 have a quick chat. I mean, what is Operation Exodus? Was the largest migration the galaxy had ever seen. I think we realized we couldn't beat the Zotan the, uh, the, at the time we decided to flee. They were getting closer and closer to our home sectors, so together with our allies, we decided that it was time to fall back and work out a new strategy. We realized the Zotan were expanding the territory from the center of the galaxy, so we thought the best move would be to journey to the edge. We hoped this might give us enough time to find a strategy to beat them. Half the galaxy agreed to join us, and we proceeded with the preparations. Then they hit us. We didn't uh, know if they knew what they were planning. It was just a coincidence. But the subspace sub space rift started to appear. They tore the galaxy to shreds. Billions of lives were lost. Entire sectors just disappeared. It was a slaughter. And the worst pass part? We never even saw a single Zotan ship. Ooh. The alliance was weakened, and there were thousands of fractions arising out of the chaos factions. But we came to uh, we came too far and invested too many resources, so we had to go through with Operation Exodus. But it was too disorganized. Nothing went according to plan. Most members of the alliance weren't even uh, weren't even agreed on where we should go. Finally, we decided that we couldn't wait any longer. We took off and left behind beacons that would lead the members of the Operation Exodus to this place. And now we live here. But why do you live here? We were disorganized, demoralized, and weak. Our best guess is that a lot of people in the outer sectors here knew that. A large convoy like ours is not exactly easy to hide. We were constantly attacked. They wanted our technology, our ships, our weapons. For a long time, we managed to fight them back, but at some point, we couldn't fight any longer. We were overwhelmed. Our hyperspace drives were destroyed, and now we're stuck here. Now, we live here. I mean, where, where are you? Uh, all over the wreckages. I would never have thought that anybody would come out here. We set up this beacon, but we never thought that anybody would use it. 
There are many more of us in other sectors, but sadly, we can't reach them. Ah, oh, now we live here. I mean, th th he likes to say that, right? He likes to say that. So where is here? What is this place? This place is where our last great defeat happened. We were overwhelmed by outlaws and bandits when they realized that our technology was completely incompatible with theirs and thus worthless to them. They left our ancestors to die. Since our hyperdrives are gone, we're all stuck here. But luckily, we're living in the wreckages of a convoy that was meant for the migration of millions. We have enough food and energy to sustain us for hundreds of years to come. And now we live here. <laughs> all right, mate. All right. So do you know how to beat them up? Like the Zotan? And is that... Uh, no more special than ours or yours, but they're strong, but you can defeat them in combat. The main problem is there's just so many of them! You have to stop them from calling in reinforcements. We don't know how to do that, or where they're coming from. But when our ancestors were fighting them, they managed to get hold of some of their technology. You can have it if you want. It's worthless to us. Yeah, I mean, like, yes. We dumped one of the art uh, we dumped one of the artifacts from a wreckage near you. Have a look around. All right. Yeah, I also got a historian achievement. Right, we got the uh, XS TN K1. All right. This artifact seems to function as some kind of ancient key. Well, that's not a letdown at all. No actual purpose. And now we live here. All right, guys, I have to go. Thanks very much, though. And I'm going to say thank you, you, the person watching. Uh, we've had a, an amazing time going around, exploring the galaxy, coming down much much awkward ways. I mean, look, where, where's the grandest entrance? Like, keep keep going, buddy. Keep going. I'm going to I'm going to see if there's any way of getting across here. I'm going to jump the diplomat around and see if there are any sectors with any gates anywhere. Oh, we should before I actually say goodbye. It's a shame that these stations still register as wreckage. Wouldn't wouldn't they make amazing, uh, like, destructed stations? There's still people on there. Why can't we trade? All right, anyway, so having a look at this gate is what I wanted to do. It's huge. It's, it's, I think it's bigger than normal. I, th I think it's much bigger than normal. Maybe it's just because it's missing the uh, the bit in the middle. But I need to see if I can interact with it in any way. Like, if I can build this, if I can make this this hole again, that would be great. It looks like no. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. We're going to get the fleet together. We're going to go north. We're going to go find the best power-ups we can do and get this research Zotan artifact underway, but I will see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye.